the history of planet Earth from its formation to today has lasted for 4.5 billion years. That's a lot of time. In order to personally experience such a period, you would have to die and be reborn 60 million times, while the hour hand of this watch would have to turn 3.3 trillion times. But let's forget about all those numbers, and let's imagine how the history of Earth lasts only five minutes. What happens in each second? In what minute does life begin? When did the dinosaurs die out? And when does the first human appear? Before you learn everything about Earth's history, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This way, you'll be the first to learn about updates that appear on Imperium Popularum. Becoming one of the planets of the solar system, a hot glowing mass of stone that orbits around a star is formed. The Earth. Storms and tectonic earthquakes are raging. As the new planet cooled down, stray stones bombarded it from open space. And in one dramatic crash, Earth got its loyal companion, the moon. The threat from outer space is diminishing, and the heavy bombardment of space rocks stops. On Earth, the blue planet, a miracle is happening. Somewhere in its oceans, organic molecules are formed, the first primitive life. Primitive beings convert the sun's heat into energy. The first photosynthesis begins. The first organisms release something completely new into the atmosphere, oxygen. After a billion years, during which more and more complex microorganisms produce oxygen, it finally reaches the Earth's atmosphere. Cyanobacteria are now rapidly filling the atmosphere with oxygen. Because of this, the climate will change dramatically, and Earth will turn into a ball of ice. The Great Oxidation occurs when the living world is reborn again. Nothing dramatic will happen for hundreds of millions of years. On the surface, the climate is constantly changing. Under the influence of ocean currents, the Earth's rotation and the composition of the atmosphere, which causes the Earth to slowly warm up and cool down, Suddenly, for the second time in climate history, the Earth is completely covered in ice. The planet became a snowball again. After the ice melts, life once again renews. Now, however, there is an avalanche in its development. The Cambrian explosion is happening. In addition to unicellular organisms, a real forest of invertebrates develops in the depths of the sea. Families and families of new, multicellular creatures. Plants migrate onto land and grow out of the soil. The first vertebrates are born. Complex creatures that will, coming out of the water, conquer the terrestrial world. And from which reptiles, birds, and mammals will arise. Deep down, the continental plates move, collide, and merge. Pangaea, a giant proto-continent, is formed. By its splitting, today's continents will be created. The world is inhabited by a variety of complex creatures, large and small. During an era of 100 million years, the planet is ruled by the largest of all creatures, dinosaurs. Earth is hit by an asteroid from space with a diameter of 15 kilometers. This catastrophe will darken the planet's atmosphere and lead to an icy apocalypse. Dinosaurs died out in a cataclysm, but after their disappearance, life is renewed again. Green forests and the family of the last rulers of the world, mammals, are now spreading around the world. A new era begins, the Cenozoic. The first people are born. Thank you for watching our video. If you found it interesting, please like and subscribe so we can bring you more content just like this.